Ahoy there mateys and welcome to this uh, next episode of Peter Plays on Hoist the Colors Hers Day. I figured out where we should actually be going, just to Santo Domingo. So since they hate me, I'm hoisting a Spanish flag, see, up there. And we are going into Santo Domingo. I actually uh, forgot to save last time, so I uh, redo the little bit of progress I made. And uh, so the battle that you saw last time uh, didn't happen. So here we are in Santo Domingo port and I found the bottled antidote. This location model, can you believe this is the original Green Fort port? Couch Captain Charles really did a lot of location remodeling on this one to make it look unique. Just look at it, there's extra buildings and fortifications everywhere. And then we have got this next location which is from actually Voyage Century Online, another computer game which just happens to have used the Storm Engine also and it uses uh, the same sort of assets files which is quite convenient. You want to hear good advice? Good day, speak out. Okay, we gained a bit of experience, how nice. I should be going now. Uh, you think That's the only reason why I'm here is because I want to spend some time. Because we need to actually go see the governor, because uh, if I had played this properly then Thomas Tipman in Tortuga would have told me about the missing son of a Spanish admiral. Did I uh, check the walkthrough to find that out? So here we are. Look at this guy looking all spiffy. Hello there, mate. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Joaquin de Saldana, Admiral of the Spanish fleet. I'm glad to meet you, Captain. The governor recommended you as a man who can deal with any trouble. Well, the governor should know that I'm a pirate because the Spanish hate me, so this is very uh, surprising. But uh, who am I to complain? The governor flatters me, although I do have a great deal of experience with trouble. Perfect! I have some business for you, Captain. You see, my son Lucas disappeared from home several months ago, only days before he was to marry. As you can imagine, it was quite an embarrassment to me. Yes, of course. When I learned that Lucas had headed for the New World, I requested assignment as Admiral of the West Indies fleet, so I could come here and find him. But you haven't succeeded? Alas, no. Every time I think I've picked up the trail of Lucas, I soon lose it again. I want you to try and find him. I offer a reward of 10,000 gold. Does that suit you? But it suits me fine, then I'll need some information. I know only that uh, Lucas was last seen in St. Pierre Tavern. He might start there. Don't let me down, Captain. I'll do all I can. Farewell. So, St. Pierre, that's Martinique. Let us uh, go there straight away. And thankfully, there is uh, no enemies in port this time. This is actually the second time I save, uh, play through this. And the first time... The silly girl here, dear Anna Maria, she uh, went to attack a soldier and everybody got angry with me and I died. That was not a success. So where are we going anyway? We are not quite there, but okay, we're going in this general south easterly direction. Why? Why is this locked? Hello? This is not normal. So we're flying a Spanish flag. And we're going to the French. And the French and the Spanish are friendly. So we can actually do this. Like 
I'm uh, quite missing having. Oh, leave me alone, stupid boatjes. I'm missing uh, having a compass on the screen here. Why do I not have a compass? I've got something showing me the wind direction, but nothing that says where to find north. Thankfully, I'm a bit uh, used to the world map by now. Oh, I'm being chased by Dutchies! Never mind me, I'm a I'm a harmless pirate. Sail ho! You leave me alone. Oi! Why can I not? Hello? All right, here we are. What the hell is going on? Big battle of some sort. French, English, English. I uh, was not here to actually fight. Oh, it looks cool, though. Bam! Hit them. It's going to be cool. I got them good. Them. Hey, shooting at me. Save my cannonballs until I'm a bit closer. Shoot! Fine, we'll board then. Am I even doing any damage though? Do some looting, we are going to need some uh, experience and stuff after all. Only to find something that I cannot loot. How useless. But here are some bandage rolls. Creep shots. That is not useful. More bandages. Why can I not loot the cutlass? That is strange. Can this chest be looted? Doesn't look like it. Onwards we go! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh man, those poor English. They get so killed. Bullets? I don't want bullets. A battle axe? Seriously? <laughs> Keeps flinching. So much flinching that the uh Oh for gear blade, that might come in handy. A blade care kit. Oh I forgot that was in the game. So we captured this ship. The Bedford. Captain. Pirate pirate captain. Holy crap. Where'd he get all his skills from? He's a bloody hero. I want to keep him? Now Maria can go on the other ship, see if we can sell that one at some point. Where's this other boat here? There's a little boat here. Actually let us not worry about that. Turn, 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 turn! Don't crash! Oh man! This is bouncy boats! some reason the sea is on fire that's uh, very strange I uh, I don't think that's supposed to be the case okay here we go racing towards Martinique oh we've got two ships the icons uh, bounce up never saw that before So here we are, the classic town of Martinique. The sound of feet in the on the ground is actually quite loud. Who are you, Baldwin? That sounds like a familiar name. Strictly braces. Pour me some of your best wine. How about some rum? Oh. Questions. Here's your money. Business. I'm looking for a young Spaniard. His name is Lucas de Saldana. Perhaps you've seen him. Yes, I remember him. Nice fellow and a good client. He paid lavishly every time. Do you know where he is now? I'm not sure where he went, but it's possible I can tell you why he's gone. Please do! It's vital that I know! Well, rumor has it young Spaniard tried to make time with Governor Le Moyne's daughter. I don't know what happened, but he came in here afterwards in the backest of moods. The very next morning, he and his yacht were gone, and no one here has seen him since. The Governor's daughter? The man has good taste, doesn't he? Any chance I could speak with her, or does Lemoyne watch her too closely? Oh, you can be sure when he's not watching her, someone in his pay is doing it for him. Oh, well, he has his reasons, doesn't he? She's a fine looking girl. She does occasionally take a walk outside of town on the beach, but she's always escorted by several guards. I think I saw her go earlier, so if you go out of the city you might get her on the way back. Those guards shouldn't be a problem. Not intending to kidnap her or anything, just ask a few questions. Thanks Antoine, you've been a big help. Shall we talk to Baldwin? A quick savey. 
What do I owe the honor of your presence? Nothing, I'm just seeing the sights, getting a feel for the city. You're a captain, are you not? Yes, I am. I consider it part of my job to know just by looking at the man what he does and what sort of fellow he is. Part of your job? You don't look like a captain of the guard. Nope, you're most likely a banker. No, monsieur, I'm not a banker and certainly not a captain of the guard. I'm a humble merchant, or at least I was. Are you not anymore? This seems a strange place to retire. Alas, no, I have not retired. Not by choice, at any rate. My store was stolen from under my nose. But of course, this is my problem. I'm sorry to burden you with it. Not at all. Tell me more. Maybe I can help. There's not much to more to tell. I was the owner of the local store, but my assistant, Arnaud Maton, managed to rob me blind and take my store. I was willing to work to get back on my feet again, but no one wanted to loan me any money, except Arnaud himself. My position was desperate. What could I do but accept? But the man should trick me again. Now I find myself worse than penniless, owing 2500. So up that to my eyes in debt. Maybe there's some way I can help? Here's what I propose, monsieur. If you will loan me 10,000 gold, I'll be able to pay off my debt to Arnaud. I'll sink the rest of the money into my business, and within a month I'll be able to pay you back. I guarantee it. I've got a better idea. I need a paymaster for my ship. What do you say? That's a very interesting offer, monsieur, but it wouldn't be right for me to leave town while I'm still in debt to Arnaud. How about if I square your debt? You can pay me back out of your earnings. Life on board is all funded, so you can give most of it straight back. Is it a deal? It's a deal, monsieur. If you can clear my debt with Arnaud, I'll be honored to join your crew. Perfect. And now, if you'll excuse me, you can, uh, you can use some uh, officers, right? So here we are, we have to find the exit the jungles and I do believe it is around the corner here in what's actually quite a big city here goes the flying sparrow again into the Martinique jungle yep nothing there and the shore that is not what I was looking for. Maybe I went into the wrong side of the jungle. Could you spare a moment, kind sir? Good day, sailor. I'm in juice circumstances. Won't you help me? Hmm, why should I? If you will give me 20 coins, I will tell everyone how kind you are. Don't be concerned that I'm poor. I have many friends and they will always be glad to see you here. Yes? Alright, 20 gold is not so much to give to a man in such need. There, let's get a bit of reputation. Peter Jack is a friendly sort of guy. Oh, it's gone dark. When did that happen? Run, 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 forest, run. Any exits to jungles here? Oh, there's enemies here. What do you want? Is it you? You want to fight? Oh, he wants to fight. Hey! How dare he? Oh no, he's got a dead albatross! I don't want that hell with us. No. I'm afraid I got the dead hell with us anyway. <laughs> yeah, that that's just evil. Dead Albatross. Martinique Beach. This isn't the Yeah, just make a circle. Is 
The sound is a bit terrible. So, where the... Where the hell is the lady? Enemies? Oh! There are zombie monkeys! Oh, hey! You got the beast's hide! We get a bit of leather for killing them! Anyone else? Music hasn't ended yet. Oh, 250 gold. I'm hearing a monkey, but I'm not seeing a monkey. It really doesn't seem like it. So maybe. Hey. Who are you? P O J C Domine. Dona Ayes Requiem. Tum. The monk pummels himself with a heavy book in an act of repentance. Eh? Uh -huh. Don't interrupt my one-man procession! Please forgive me, but you do not look quite like an average monk should look. Hmm, what should the monk look like? <laughs> I don't know, but definitely... Well, I thought you were a walking sack of potatoes, you know, with the silly sack-like cloak and all. Your head looked like a big, rotten, scurvy, smitten potato! It was nice to talk to you, but I have to go now. Maybe we could meet again when you're a little more, more specific. Goodbye, Padre, or whoever you are. I will paint this pot with your blood. I expect it. Have a key, scoundrel! I like it. Eat up my ear. But the rum is very good. Till morning. Oi! The guy wants a lot of money. To give me some experience. I'm uh, sure we could use experience. But we don't have that kind of money. So, let's see if we can find the lady here now. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Hello there, dearie. so much a governor as I am an agent of the monarchy. Good day. What do you need? You must be Miss Lemoyne. I'm looking for a certain young man, a Spaniard by the name of Lucas de Saldana. I'm told you know each other. I might know him. Why do you want him? Lucas's father asked me to find his son. Lucas's disappearance from his home has worried his family greatly. Oh yes, he told me about that, but there's no cause for alarm. Lucas told me he was on his way to visit his father. He said he needed to discuss something important matters with him. I see. Well, thanks for your help. Oh really? You got the look of a pirate in this. See as you are very polite to Miss Le If you take one wrong step, I'll rip your head off. Please 
Do I look like such an oaf? I must get back to the Admiral. Maybe the boy is already there. Very well, back to uh, Santo Domingo it is. Very strange, those icons. But anyway, leave me alone, Duchess. Oh, sailing the wrong way. Storm. Should I not be able to give an order to my sh other ship? Oh no, we're on fire! We are on fire! I have to get the damage control ability. So we can execute the fire drill. Splash! See you hear that? survived but why can I not give orders oh that's how that works okay learn something new again now where were we Santo Domingo was on the island of Hispaniola I believe leave me alone pirates no where are my mates, remember? The, another storm? The storm season. Heave to drift. And we are on fire. Again. Splash. Okay, let's write that one too. Where's the dry land sound? Santo Domingo. It's quite weird to see those nation flags below the ships instead of above as I'm used to. Oh, it's a new engine, isn't it? So here we are, back again, and we're going straight to the governor's. Ah, Captain, right on time. I've got news about your son, Admiral. Pardon the interruption, but time is short. He has 3,000 gold for your trouble. Now listen carefully. I have been informed that Lucas has been captured by pirates? Demand a ransom of 20,000 gold? I see, what do you intend to do? I'm going to pay the ransom of course. Lucas is worth more to me than mere gold. He's my son! Please deliver this money to the pirates and bring my son here unharmed. You'll receive the 10,000 gold I promised you. I'll do it. Where do I take the ransom? To La Grenade. One of the pirates will be waiting for you in the tavern in the smuggler's lair there. I'll show you the special sign I was given, so he'll be sure to recognize you. And remember, if pirates don't get the ransom within a month, they will kill Lucas! Don't worry, Admiral. Your son will be here soon. 
Right, well, uh, that escalated quickly. Oh, good danger in the port again, better save. Because who knows if Anna Maria wants to kill a guard again. They generally do not take lightly to that. What do you want? It's probably the guy in black. You are too stupid to be Dutch. <laughs> I love that sound. So funny. Well, here we are. Once again in port, ready to set sail. Let us just go ahead and save and uh, finish here for today. We've been going for quite a while already. Don't forget Friday, uh, Saturday, sorry, 2000 Central European time podcast with Modern Night from the Buccaneers Reef about the historical eras project on the Maelstrom engine. For now, thank you and bye bye.